We'll see, uh, we are going to pass through this world only once and whatever best we can do because we are not going to come back again. Nobody, there is no proof that we are going to back again. So I believe that physiotherapy was not born. It existed and the history shows almost 2500 years earlier also there is a history that uh, Hector used hydrotherapy and Hippocrate advocated massage. The massage is now called as manipulation, mobilization. The words have changed, but actually we do the same thing. I remember as a student, we used to give ultrasound underwater. Until today, studies show the best results of ultrasound are when it is given underwater. But uh, we prefer shortcuts, so apply some gel and we use any gel as a media for ultrasound. So, the earliest history that we saw about physiotherapy, we found out 1894, Chartered Society of Physiotherapy was formed in England. And if you go to the timeline, in 1914, physiotherapists were also called reconstruction aids during the World War I. And in 40s, the PNF technique came. In 50s, the NDT technique came. 60 was manual therapy entering. And in 80 was explosion of all equipment, diathermy, ultrasound, laser, SSF, different equipment, shut along with diathermy. A lot of equipment came in electrotherapy. But it was 1990, I would say, where the name of physiotherapy started floating around and India started recognizing physiotherapy and a practice of manual therapy was in full form. Our definition of physiotherapy, if you read, it's everything except giving medicine. We don't give drugs, we don't give medicine, but we use uh, physical agents like heat, cold, light, water, electricity and exercises which includes mobilization and manipulation to diagnose and treat patients. In India, the first physiotherapy center came in 1952, KM Hospital, GS Medical College, Mumbai. And the first physiotherapy college came in 1953, again, GS Medical College, KM Hospital, Mumbai. The second was in Vellore and third was in Chennai. And, uh, the only degree college, they were all diploma colleges. So the first degree college in India came in MS University, Baroda. Proud to be a student of that university. And thank you, Nilima ma'am. Uh, the degree started in Maharashtra in 75-76. But uh, when I was a student, I said there were only seven colleges and today there are 72 colleges only in Gujarat. And all over India, we have crossed uh, more than 200 colleges. So we have 220 colleges of bachelors, 82 colleges giving masters, and almost 15 university giving PhD. So the thirst of a physiotherapist doesn't end. As soon as they have finished their graduation, they want to do post-graduation, and many of them want to do PhD. Why we are different from the world in physiotherapy? Because across the globe, physiotherapy is four years course. United States, it's a three years course. You can be a graduate in any health science subject and go for three years of DPT, that is doctor in physical therapy. But in India, it's four and a half years. That's why more than 7,000 physiotherapists in USA are studied in India. They've studied physiotherapy from India. Our MPTs are two years and three years course. PhD has to be minimum three years, which is after post-graduation. Indian Association of Physiotherapists is our association. Uh, we do register more than 3,000 physiotherapists every year. And 80% of our physiotherapists are females. So after you've finished your internship, you need to register if you want to practice abroad. But to practice in India, at least Gujarat, Maharashtra and Delhi have their own council. So you can be a member of the council also and practice in India.
and hopefully very soon our central council bill will be passed in the Lok Sabha and then uh, we will be having our own council. We are all attached to WCPT, that is World Confederation of Physiotherapy. At present there are 107 countries member of WCPT and all over the world there are 3,50,000 physiotherapists and more than 45,000 belongs to India. So we are more than 12% of the world physiotherapists. So what does, the, what does WHO define as physiotherapy? So this was our main concern which was put to the parliament. It's very categorically says that physiotherapy is an independent practice and out of paramedical stream. So physiotherapist is uh, independent practice as per World Health Organization. A century ago, physiotherapy was known for its role only in orthopedic disorders. But with promotion of evidence-based practice, we have broken all barriers and explored various fields in healthcare, proving that physiotherapy today has got no boundaries. So we are in women's health, prenatal, postnatal exercises. So much before a child is born, the mother needs physiotherapy. And after the child is born, again the mother needs physiotherapy. We are into pediatrics, whether it's going to be cerebral palsy, autism, hardly we find polios nowadays, but all pediatric condition what is treated by physiotherapists. We are into orthopedic condition, whether it is shoulder pain, knee pain, ankle, back, we treat. We are into manual therapy, which is mobilization and manipulation. We entered sports medicine in 1987. The best part about physiotherapy was in whichever specialty we entered, we conquered. So there is no sports team today which doesn't have a physiotherapist with them. And including uh, even, uh, you know, long range firing, short range firing. And I have seen a physiotherapist traveling with a carom team. You know, carom team. So every sports team, if you go to see, have a physiotherapist attached to them. We have entered movies. Most of the movies, the, the hero wants to do their stunt on their own now. So there is physiotherapist attached to them. And all the live shows you all see on television, whether it's a dance or singing competition or anything, whichever is live. There are at least two physiotherapists attached to them and the physiotherapist is part of the shooting team when they are doing. So today a physiotherapist's greatest challenge is not treating the disorder but identifying and preventing the cause of disorder. So physiotherapists are also in prevention. We don't have to wait for a person to get injured. right? We are into too many things where we can prevent. We know now most of the disorders. We are into neurology, which is subdivided into adult neurology and pediatric neurology. We are into chest medicine. So my request is for to the principal and all the other faculties who are here, please start night duties. We are ruling, we rule, we rule. We started 18 years back. We have two physiotherapists at night and of course our postgraduate students and our interns. They do night duties and we get closer, the doctors, the surgeons understand the value of physiotherapy. So if your turn comes during your internship or during your post-graduation, you, you have lots to learn. And of course we have our Sunday duties. So physiotherapy in short has become 24-7. We are in intensive care. Survey showed that most of the infants die at night. They choke. So that's how we physiotherapists at night every four hours do suctioning of the pediatric NICU and RICU. When we go there, uh, we save the kids. So you know almost the ratio has gone to zero now because we don't allow the kids to die. We are into cardiac rehabilitation. So we don't have to uh, wait for a person to get a heart attack and then go for the cardiac rehab. Many people now come, the new thing which will come in another maybe six months to one year in Gujarat would be lung rehabilitation. And people go for the lung rehabilitation. I hope in my next lecture I'll be talking about lungs and explain you all why do we breathe. Science is, go science is going to increase the longevity of a human being. We are going to all age 80 plus. 
So physiotherapy is going to play a very, very important role in geriatrics because we want our parents, our grandparents to live for 120 years, but they should be depend, not dependent on anyone. They should be able to do the activities of daily living. They should be able to lift a cup of glass of tea or coffee, wear their own clothes, be able to go to the toilet and come back. That is what is the role of a physiotherapy in geriatrics. I strongly believe that a physician adds years to the life, but it's a physiotherapist that adds life to the years. So we give them quality of life. We have entered brain mapping, and I hope if the video works, I'll show you how it works. We have a small portable EEG attached to the laptop. So there are three electrodes on the frontal because we think from our front of our head, right? So when you forget something, you hit on your head and we take the waves of the brain. I believe that tongue can lie, but brain cannot lie. So we started with doing on sportsmen, but we are doing in a lot of our neurological condition. What you see at the extreme left is the alpha zone and what you see on the extreme right is gamma zone. We had done a study on 1,000 uh, school-going students. We told them to think they are enjoying with their friends and they were all in alpha zone. As soon as we to spoke to them about exams, they went in gamma zone. So the happiness and the zone to live is alpha zone. Hopefully very soon the pharmaceutical students will try to get some medicine that will put you in alpha zone. Uh, there are a lot of telemedicine centers and nowadays easier on your WhatsApp you have a video call. So our uh, interns and postgraduate students when they go to rural area, they are showing us live the patient, what they don't understand and we can guide them. Right? It's called telemedicine. But in telemedicine the most, the most success and the most uh, famous what has become has been physiotherapy because we act, we show it, we do, make them do the exercise, we make them walk, we treat them and there is result. Our biggest concern in this country today are bags and the school children. So please, uh, those who are in academics, ask your student to do a survey. My eight surveys around Maharashtra is showing more than 12% of the school going children have scoliosis. More than 12% of children, primary till fourth standard, they have scoliosis. So one of the reasons of the scoliosis is going to be the bag, the way they hold it. Second, the way they sit and write. They don't change the pattern of writing. If they are moving on the right, they move on the right. So we have seen scoliosis. My two students, postgraduate, are doing a study on what should be the weight of the bag in school children. Are we going to decide age-wise, weight-wise, height-wise, or class-wise? Right. So logically, it says it should be class-wise. Because in each class, there are students with different height, different weight, right, and different age. So we need to take a decision, okay, what should be the weight when the child is in first standard and what should be the weight when the child is in ninth standard. We are into rural rehabilitation. Please uh, move to the rural area. 70% of Indian population live in rural area. There is a lot to learn when you go and do physiotherapy in the rural area. We go for camps, we go to the Gujarat Maharashtra border, Adivasi areas, people really live long, they are all 80 plus, right, and fully mobile. What they re only require is strengthening of the muscles. We are into prevention and ergonomics. After the IT sales has increased in India, our patients have increased. So whenever there is a call center and IT centers all over India, definitely see that you put a clinic there, many of them will be your patient. So what we teach them is prevention because we know what type of problems they are going to get. Uh, the new roles that are going to come in the future, next three years, is the role of physiotherapy in emergency. Many of the things we are there, but very soon Government of India is starting a new course after MBBS that is emergency. So we'll, they will be doing three years of emergency. And the team of emergency will have a role for physiotherapists. 
so we are very big part of uh, road so we should be prepared i believe it, there are two type of disasters natural disaster which is earthquake floods and man made disaster the bombing and terrorist attacks very soon there will be a van which will be carrying all the followings and we will be able to reach wherever whenever there is a disaster and as far as disasters are concerned i think so the indian physiotherapists have reached earlier than the country itself i remember in uh, bam city of iran friday morning 26th december it was when an earthquake happened our mumbai team left at 1 in the afternoon by the flight and we started work at 6:30 in the evening there and iran's team started working the next day 27th morning so you reaching going from india we were faster we have covered up uri earthquake we have covered the bujet earthquake and i many of the students must have gone to bidra to cr physiotherapy center there and it's india's biggest center 16000 square feet of physiotherapy department now what happened during natural disaster this patient is from bhuj earthquake area no physiotherapy surgeons came and did the h rodding right bed sore because there was no physiotherapy right so we the surgeons will save the life by doing the surgery but the patient was dying because there were no physiotherapy around so the surgeon also understand the role of physiotherapy they have all understood that without physiotherapy the success rate of surgery is not there especially nowadays the total knee has become very common total knee replacement but the surgeon always wants to know who is the physiotherapist because their job gets over in 30 minutes from the operation data after that whatever the patient has to come back to normal the range of movement the muscle strength the walking no limping becomes the role of a physiotherapist this is how we set up tents we play an important role in going to any disaster area uri there was kashmir uh, you know kashmir is an loc area line of control so you have to take military permission to reach there so every now and then it was the army people who were with us and we have worked there we have proved ourselves that physiotherapy has a role in any disaster there's a tent how we used to treat the patient because everything was just broken then comes the road accidents we have an important role we have a very important role in road accidents what we can do now world health organization gave a triage about uh, who is going to do what during any accident or any emergency so if you go to see physiotherapists have a role as said by who right so in emergency we can apply the tourniquet then uh, we can check the pulses we can take the bp right a lot of dressing we can do right so we have a role in every whether it's emergency whether during the emergency urgent non urgent priority in all if you go to see physiotherapy has a role except when the patient dies right the dead the dead certificate has to come from somewhere else right hopefully one day government allows us also to do that i remember when i was a student in 1983 the bihar physiotherapy association they had taken permission and they were allowed to give death certificates also bihar physiotherapy association they did a mistake they joined indian association of physiotherapists and that power was taken away from them so yes our students all of them know about cpr very important wherever you all get an opportunity uh, please join there are courses of cpr you can save a life you can save a life this is how we worked in uh, disaster areas see the local things that you all can use when you see an accident which includes you know the mat in the car the down one left it's a mat car mat you can use it to stabilize a joint you can use pillow you can use stick a lot of taping right so to save most of the accident i said happens more in logistic in taking the patient to the hospital nobody bothers how you are carrying them see this other when we have used uh, 
vegetable vendor, fruit vendor's cart to take the patient. Even our army people don't know how to carry. They don't know how to stabilize the joints. So in short, uh, if I have to say about physiotherapy, I call it, it is from womb to tomb. Much before a child is born, physiotherapy has a role to play. And you can see the child in the fetus of the mother. Till when, till a person exists, till you are alive, they need physiotherapy. This I have taken the quote from Holy Quran. It says, he who heals one of my human being has healed my mankind. So we are in a healing profession. We have to just heal one and we have done our job. And I still say that zindagi ki asli udaan abhi baaki hai. Hamare irado ka intihan abhi baaki hai. Abhi to naapi hai mutti bar zameen humne aage sara asaman baaki hai. Thank you. Can I ask, I've got, uh, which one you all prefer? There is one lecture I talk on fitness, which is most of a patient asking us, okay, I know I'm unfit, that's why I became, and my other topic is sports medicine. So, can I ask for one of it? Fitness. I don't know. See, all your patients are going to ask you about fitness. Unless you don't have fitness, you cannot be a sports person. So, you voted for fitness. It will help all of you. Okay, I'm not talking on this fitness, uh, which will come after you are really fit. I'm not going to talk on this fitness now. This is super fitness, but you should have the basic fitness which we will talk. And the biggest question arises, why? Why you want fitness? Because 80% of India's population have one of these problems. And most of them have all of this problem. High BP, diabetes, OA knees, slip disc, and cervical spondylitis. You may get a cervical spondylitis is in Mumbai more than 90%. More than 90% of the people have neck pain. Right? That's why people have started saying that person is pain in the neck. Huh? Or pain in the neck. Or has pain in the neck. So, very simple test is when you bring your chin forward, there is no pain. Try to push it back. It's painful. Right? So, it's you have a neck problem. WHO defines okay, whatever has to be a normal body weight. If you are more than 10% of it, suppose you have to be 60 kg and you are 66, you fall under the category of obesity. So what should be the normal weight? Very simple. Go home today, take your height in centimeters, minus 100. Right? For girls, we want minus 105 because we want them to be more beautiful. Right? So male is usually minus 100, females minus 105. That is your normal weight. Then there are other units like uh, body fat analysis unit. Because you may be slim, your body weight will be perfect. But the fat content in the body is very important. And I am saying that in Gujarat because statistics shows the worst, the worst eating habits of India are in Gujarat. All have fat content more than 30%. Right? And, and WHO says India is a malnutrited country. I said, come and see a charbi. Come and see the fat what <laughs> Indian there. And all are 30%. It should not cross 22%. Right? But 32, 34, and 40 is very easily available on Indians. I'll come to it why and what we should do. So, obesity doesn't happen overnight. It takes time. It takes time. Right? See two close friends from Punjab. When they were in school together, how close they were. Now even if they want to hug each other, they cannot. 
right? So time has made them that. Because the BMI crossed 27, went to 32 and all that. How it starts? Overeating at home. Usually males eat at home a lot because they know if they don't finish, it's given to them next day in the tiffin. Take it. Right? So they try to finish it or so something new will be there the next day morning. Parties. What is served in parties other than drinks? I'm not talking about drinks in Gujarat. What is served? Pakodas, samosas, right? French fries, everything deep fried. And the worst is next time when you pick up is the cashew nut. Cashew nut fried and with salt. You require each cashew nut, you have to walk 100 steps to burn it. 100 steps to burn each cashew nut. Right? And it has no limit. When you start picking up cashew nut, you don't mind keep picking it. Right? So imagine how many calories that day you add only by having cashew nuts. And about drinks, I can only show you on this slide. This was clicked in West Indies. This guy is talking to a statue not knowing to whom he is talking. So drinks can do that. Right? In Mumbai, whenever a person joins a new company, they keep a party and they give a dinner and, and drinks are served. One of the reasons they say, after a person drinks, they tell the truth. So they find out the truth from him after the drinks. Next cause is eating between the meals. How many of us go to the last story down to pick up anything when you open the fridge? We don't go to pick up vegetables. We are only looking for ice creams, soft drink, chocolates, right? Anything that is sweet, we are looking for that. That's one of the main cause. Now, all this attacks at one place, which is a heart. The job of a heart is to pump the blood 24 hours. It keeps pumping, right? You are asleep, it pumps. You are awake, you are running, it keeps pumping. But this heart was made for a specific weight. So when you exceed that weight, a load comes on the heart. It's like nano car. Straight road, four people can go. But five people sitting, it cannot go uphill. Because the engine was not made for that. So please understand, our heart was made for a particular weight. When the weight increases, it brings a stress over the heart. And of course, once that load comes, we have to go for angiography, angioplasty or bypass surgery. Now second place when we are over a, overweight comes on the knee joint. 90% of your body weight comes on the knee joint. Right? So the knee joint was made for a particular weight. Now what happens when excess weight comes? Again, I'm showing the grade 4. I'm missing grade uh, 2 and 3. The cushion between the joint wears out. The two bone, right? The femur and the tibia starts rubbing. And every time you want to walk or stand, it's pain. But when you're lying down, maybe it is no pain. Now here our job is, whenever you see a knee patient, you have to ask the patient to reduce at least 5 kgs. Because every kg the patient reduces, you are offloading 4 kgs from the knee joint. So any knee case, if you offload them by 5 kg, they will feel 50% better. You have only offloaded the weight which was coming on the knee, right? which we avoid. We want to keep giving peripheral relax bath, ultrasound, keep giving treatment because the patient has to come, you also have to earn. Huh? right? So we don't tell them, one of the basic thing in uh, knee case is asking the patient to offload some weight. I believe that we should all have kamar and not kamras. Few signs for the student that you are unfit. Please understand, you don't feel like getting up in the morning. It's one of the signs that you are unfit. You feel irritated with best of your friends. Again, it's a sign you are not fit. You yawn between the class. And you can't climb four stories. It's one of the tests. Always remember, whenever it's a four story, three stories, 
climb the step wherever possible climb the step i have seen seen two new medical colleges and it is four stories no lift they have to climb on a slope up to fourth floor very nicely designed as you are climbing up there are plants both sides so you are just climbing up right so it's one of the signs that you are doing cardiac about the calorie burns i'll show it on the slides later on coming benjamin said by failing to prepare you are preparing to fail so before uh, you want to treat patient this questions will come to you it's very important that we need to be fit and be able to decide tell our patients how to get fit so let's define fitness is an ability of a person to live a healthy and well balanced life it involves physical social as well as emotional aspect of life indians are very emotional you don't find it in european countries right especially girls tear is just under the eyelid one ishara and it starts coming right so we divide physical fitness into two half health related component is what we are going to talk today and skill related if time permits the next lecture would be the skill related one so health related may you have you should have a good cardiovascular endurance muscular endurance muscular flexibility and the right body composition i call it the 5s of fitness stamina strength speed skill and spirit again in spirit i said psychological and emotional well being is very important right we lack indians lack whether even our best of sports team we lack right a lot of training is given to them to be strong emotionally nothing is impossible 280 kgs in two and a half years right so when there is a will there is a way but we love to go for shortcuts is any tablets available is any cream available where you can become a beauty queen right or you can reduce weight you will be perfect weight so we look for shortcuts because advertising world help us there are big banners so it started with sona 30 years back okay they used to prove it take your weight put you in sona for 20 minutes you come out you are half a kg less up to 1 kg less they used to tell you see we have reduced your weight now you maintain it tomorrow we'll reduce more right because people fail to understand what you had lost in sona was your body fluid you had only perspired you step out and you want to drink a 2 liter of coke or pepsi Right? Because you are thirsty, so you have not lost weight. You have only lost the fluid temporarily. As soon as you start drinking, or even water, you are back to the same weight. Then came aerobics, and I feel after the aerobic classes started, patients in physiotherapy increased because aerobics have to be done on wooden flooring, right? But the advanced uh, aerobic they wanted you to put your weight down fast and quick, right? so a lot of injuries to ankle knee back and we had more patients then came the yoga people refused to understand that we have a spiritual yoga we have a breathing yoga and we have a therapeutic yoga just don't on television and start doing yoga at least when ramdev was doing camps in bombay our patient is to increase because what he was doing for last 30 years people wanted to do on the same day first day they wanted to do the same thing right so we had a lot of back problems knee problem coming to us so please decide which yoga then came the health farms from bangalore jindal to lonavala to kerala now number of health farms so people thought going to health farm will they will be fit yes after 10 days 12 days you will reduce 4 kg because they keep the control they give you herbal water herbal tea two fulkas don't allow to you to have what you want but when you come out of the health farm you are straight looking for a nice restaurant where you will go and eat whatever you wanted so everything comes back within a week so it leaves a person confused what should i do join the gym go to a swimming center have medicine do yoga right so till indians are in a confused state as far as health is concerned so we should believe that success is very demanding it's not going to be easy it's demanding you have to do certain things right in 1990s our tvs were fat and we were slim 2018 the tv has become slim and we have become fat 
right? Because remote controlled, we don't have to. You don't want to get up also to change the channel. So we want it on the remote. Nowadays, the Chinese has given us fan also also on remote, lights on remote. So activity has almost becoming zero. Only thing we lack, we have washing machines, we have dishwashers missing. Only thing is a machine will which come which will give you a bath. You just go and stand and everything will be done to you, dried and throw you out. Right? We have car washes. So similarly, now human washes are left. That will increase our weight more. The best way is to learn to say no. In Indian culture, very difficult, right? Because first time somebody comes, "Arey, pehli baar hai, how can you not?" And our thank Gujarat tea to always has double double sugar, right? It has to be extra sweet, right? And pure milk, it should be there in it. So learn to say no. Have a vision. See the lollipop. The ants had decided not to have, right? So if ants can say no, why can't human being? Why we can't say no? Right? We should know when to say no. We should be committed to our diet. I'll give you the simplest example. When you take your scooter or bike or car to a petrol pump, you fill the pump, you fill the petrol, you come out and you see another petrol pump. Do you fill again? You say no. There is a meter and scooter mate gets over. There is a reserve compartment. Please, body says the same thing. If you have eaten and if you see food again, it doesn't mean you have to eat. You have to start calculating whether you have burnt it or not. Right? You have breakfast from home. You come to college because your friend is going to the college to have breakfast, so you will also have again. Right? You come back to the class. The teacher has not come. Somebody opens the tiffin. You feel you have to eat again. You always feel you are in Ethiopia. What if I don't get again? So let us have it. So I'll give you the breakup when you eat. What happens? Seven thousand calorie is one kg, right? And I feel in India to put seven thousand calorie is very easy. Go for a wedding, lunch, and wedding dinner. Each wedding, lunch, and dinner is two thousand five hundred to three thousand calorie, with the sweets, gulab jamun or whatever, and the kulfi, right? I will tell you about kulfi. What it is. And the breakfast, if you have two parathas, calculate it becomes seven thousand calorie. And anything that you eat, there are three components to it: carbohydrate, protein, and fat. So just see, one gram of protein is four calorie. One gram of carbohydrate is four calorie. They are same, protein and carbohydrate. The fat is two and a half times more, nine calorie. So now, what is the source of fat? Right? It is butter. It is oil. It is ghee. You see, there is no difference. Little butter is less because there is water in the butter. That's why when you put butter in the frying pan, it makes a sizzling sound. It's because of the water. It is same. So whether you have ghee, whether you have oil, right? You may you you may have cholesterol-free oil. You cannot have calorie-free oil. So once you talk about any oil in whichever way you use it, I always tell the best of cook. Show your art of cookery without using any of the three down. So fats are of two type. One which is visible, we see it: ghee, butter, oil, cheese, which is added for cooking. And the other one, automatically, those who are non-veg, all the non-veg fish, mutton, chicken have fat with it. You don't need to add it. Right? And those who are vegetarian, it is there in pulses. Any type of dal has got a limited. Fat content in it. Our enemies, I say, right? But we love them. So, in one line, if I have to say anything that is tasty is high in calories. See the burgers. Sorry. The burgers, pizzas, deep fried patatawada, samosas, kulfis, ice cream, sweets. They are high in calories, right? I call them our enemies. And a simplest example of it is two potatoes, hundred grams is hundred calorie. If you boil it, two potatoes, French fried, hundred calorie, French fried, three hundred and eighty calories. So two eighty calories only comes from the butter, ghee, or oil that you are going to fry the potato in it. What does it do? Any fat. 
becomes cholesterol attacking the heart. So next time you do a cholesterol test, please ask your parents, yourself, reduce their cholesterol level by 10%. If it is 300, see that you bring it to 270. Reduce it by 10%, you save them with 50% better risk of getting heart attack. Right? So every year if they can reduce by 10%, they have to have the cholesterol level normal. Our friends, we don't like them, right? Fruits and vegetables. It's a nice new study. We should all be having only fruits till 12 o'clock, it says. Afternoon 12, our food should be, and please, those are not having breakfast, it's a wrong motion because after sleeping at night, first thing your body needs is good glucose. So you start thinking, we have done a study at schools, kids who are not having breakfast and performing very badly. After breakfast was forcibly given to them by the parents, they all started doing well because the brain needs the fuel. The fuel have, don't miss the breakfast. Have breakfast alone, nobody should disturb you. Have lunch with your friends so you share. Have dinner with your enemies so they don't allow you to eat. Right? But Indian culture, dinner is the main meal. We all want to sit together and hug. And after that we don't know, the brain goes berserk to digest the food, to put this guy at sleep, what? Right? Or be active on WhatsApp. So brain doesn't know what to do. Right? And Jain eating is the best eating. By sunset, you should finish your dinner. If you want to have dinner. Nothing after that. It should be three and a half hours before you sleep. Right? And please, those who are vegetarian, keep changing your vegetables. Don't stick to one vegetable. You love it, yes? But every vegetable and fruit has different minerals and vitamins. Keep changing them. Go for the seasonal vegetable. Go for the seasonal. So if your mess is giving you the same vegetable, please say, keep changing the vegetable. We want some different vitamins. We want some different minerals to come now. I'm going to give you the breakup. You will know next time you are eating what you are eating and how many calories you have eaten. You see the mango, 250 calories is a normal mango, but the apus from Ratnagiri is touching anywhere between 270 to 300 calories. Right? The apus. Right? Rest of the fruit, I always call it 100 calorie. Right? Watermelon, can you finish one? One. No, half. So one is 50 calorie, if you, even if you have it. Half is 25 calorie. Right? But rest of the fruit, if you see, I call it 100 calorie. So it's not, but the best time to have fruit is till noon, morning to noon. And it challenges, Dr. Chaudhary from Bangladesh has proved it. Most, it was a viral video, if you would have seen it. Testing blood, putting fructose and then adding sucrose to the blood. So his normal blood was 300, adding sugar became 600, adding fruits, it became 100. Right? So it's a wrong motion that our sugar goes high with sweet uh, fruits. No. So if you can have fruits and it says it uh, goes up to 1% of your body weight, you can have fruits. So if you have 50 kilos, 500 grams fruits you can have. And the best time is the morning one, up to afternoon. Eggs, we don't like the boiled one because it's 50 calories, but we love if it is fried, omelette, burji, whatever they make it for you, 230 to 250 calories. So if you see 180 calories to 200 calories only comes from the oil, butter or ghee. Uh, kulfi, 150 gram is 750 calories and ice cream is 380 calories. Because it takes 4 liters of milk to make uh, 1 kg of kulfi and a lot of sugar in it. So it keeps boiling to make it into a kulfi. Right? Cake, see the difference of the cake, plain cake and chocolate cake. So there is a difference of 100 calorie coming from the chocolate. Milk, one glass is 60 calories. You make it curd also, it is 60 calories. Right? Because nothing is added in the curd. And tea is 100 calorie because the straight 60 calories goes from the milk and two teaspoons of sugar becomes 40 calories. So if you have a black tea, right, no milk and no sugar, it's zero calorie, right? 
soft drink is almost 200 calorie milkshake without ice cream is 250 calorie milkshake with ice cream goes up to 400 calorie so select when you are having things how many calories you are taking and this is how you become unfit gradually i say something every morning you take 100 rupees from home to come to college and you spend only 50 60 70 rupees end of the month you have saved so whatever you eat every day you have to find out whether you are burning it through some activities some exercises right so in short i always say we have one meal extra you have to skip one meal not the breakfast lunch or dinner those who are veg again pulses is our main source it's 30 each vati i'll put it each vati of dal is 100 calorie rich in protein and iron we should be committed to exercise program exercise begins at home in mumbai always say there is no footpath where to walk right but i saw your beautiful campus all of you all those who are from here can think of walking it begins at home it should encourage us then we have beautiful beaches in mumbai people go you see them how they are walking right so they sit somewhere and that's their exercise we should run to lose and uh, swami vivekananda said we'll be nearer to heaven through football than through the study of gita you will understand gita better with your bicep muscles a little stronger when he was the cricket had not entered india so he was only emphasizing on football so whether you run on any compound any ground whether you are running on a treadmill or outdoor on a beach whether you are running in your own colony please here i want to just caution girls any amount of weight training if you do you will never 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 look like a man please understand unless you go on a male hormone right so what you see on your left we were training her right and hopefully you all will recognize her later classical dance is one of the best exercise it burns 500 calories lot of expression that was my phd study and i was doing it on dancers on deaf and dumb was one of my group because deaf and dumb have no expression so with music and when we brought dance into it they started moving our classical dancers talk a lot with the neck and the hand but we prefer such dances going for a disco right even discos i have heard you hardly burn any calories because it is so crowded nowadays and the lights are dim right so by mistake somebody wants to call somebody raises the arm so everybody thinks it's a new step everybody starts raising their arms more the lights do the work right and there is so much crowd you hardly each one is pushing each other nobody is taking any steps but if you do it burns 500 calorie but i'll consider this as a dance there is calories burning the best burning is climbing steps 2500 calorie per hour so when you want to burn calories you need to if you want to burn 1 kg you need to run uphill for 2 and a half hours then you have burned 7000 calorie which is equal to 1 kg we need to exercise our muscles whether everything muscle works whether you are breathing right breathing is almost 84 calories per day so nobody can say i don't burn i burn zero calorie no calorie because you are breathing if you exist you are burning calorie it is almost 84 calories in 24 hours if you don't move only breathing but you are winking and we only need to strengthen this muscles because they make you live now this is post you saw that girl post weight training on the left she is madhu sapre who went on to be the miss runner up you know i remember her, mo- her mother screaming at me okay who will marry my daughter you are giving her and she to almost lift 250 kgs she could lift right she was a 400 meters national champ and discus thrower for india but this training helped her to become miss india and to go further and become miss universe runner up so gym is not important most of my maharashtra university an athlete group has been trained in a normal gym and when it was raining we had to stop because the rain is to come inside 
it's not where you do it's what you do and i believe that sports is medicine so don't think of doing sports to play for india but at least do it for yourself to remain fit whether you play football soccer whether you play tennis squash they all burn calories basketball please those who are in hostels at least put a net of basketball outside your entry bounce some ball and try to net the ball initially you will have to maybe throw 100 times to get five right right it stretches all your muscle it's one of the best exercises please there are basketball available which you can put in your bedroom also a small basket sitting on the bed you can throw not that one i'm talking outside outside your building put a net there so we do exercise this is very important for our patients how much one can do exercise it is your heart beat you have to minus it 220 minus your age i prefer 200 minus your age because for 220 minus your age you need the cpr system ready you should be near a hospital emergency cpr facilities available a cardiologist or a good physician available so if you are not trained for cpr 200 minus your age how much to exercise see we usually treat hemiplegia patients we treat patients who are 50 plus 60 plus very careful just see the pulse for 6 seconds add a zero you give them exercise and they are already 60 years old 200 minus 60 right 140 140 the pulse can go in 2 minutes 3 minutes the pulse can go 140 right so you are harming them right we have so many sportsmen playing and falling dead on the ground why because the pulse had gone up so even they were 20 years old and the pulse was going to 220 and 240 it was shattering the heart so how much to exercise very simple 2 minus 200 minus your age your age or your age of the patient if you are treating a patient if you are doing sports if you are attached to a team see that your sportsmen don't cross that limit soon you will come to know okay after running how many you have usually seen when a when in cricket they have taken three runs it's difficult the fourth one even one side is ready the other is not right because the pulse right in football or the one who is playing front off side or on side right they run maximum because every time they carry the ball to the next goal somebody kicks back so again he has to come and take the ball but the goalkeeper is standing at one place the one who is defending right the back they hardly run 20 yards but those who are in the front line keep running up and down their pulses are more so all the injuries or all the attack all the fatal injuries that we have seen in footballers have been those who have been playing forward right out or left out because they keep moving up and down shown you all this in the last lecture now uh, we spoke how we get the calories so i'll show you how we burn it the first one is the best one right using mobile one hour is nothing now 8 10 hours also no problem right but now this 50 calorie is please when we are talking on mobile nowadays i see the youth they walk then do do action नहीं ये बाजू है थोड़ा इधर हाँ आगे आगे आना हाँ उधर ये राइट दैट इज मच मोर दैट इज मोर देन फिफ्टी कैलरीज एंड गार्डनिंग वी हैव फॉगॉट एंड वॉट इट इज इट्स नॉट आ जॉब ईटिंग ऑफकोर्स फिफ्टी कैलरीज ड्राइविंग कार इज फिफ्टी कैलरीज ड्रेसिंग फर्नीचर वी हैव नेवर डन इट सो वी डोंट नो ड्रेसिंग अन ड्रेसिंग येस फिफ्टी कैलरीज लेस राइट बिकॉज अनलेस यू डोंट रिमूव थ्री फोर टाइम यू अप्रोच एंड वेर इट यू डोंट थिंक यू ओन यू अप्रोच brushing teeth and hair 100 calorie bathing once a week 100 calorie uh painting 150 calorie if you are i just want to say singing is 50 calorie here the best one i like is the card playing it was 50 calorie i made it 25 calorie because the last kitty party i went i saw the ladies not bending forward to take the cards they all had a stick with them with the stick they were bringing the card forward and holding so from that 50 calorie we had come to 25 calorie but you burn calories there cleaning floor we don't know preparing food nowadays it's from outside we have to order 
ironing istri we don't know now that many people don't have istri at home because the istri wala has to do everything walking leisurely is the park walking where in the evening you decide with your friend can okay, i we have to do some exercise so we'll go for a walk and that walk finally ends at an ice cream shop ho chala hai aaj ek ice cream so you have walked you have burned only 200 calorie you have eaten ice cream 380 calorie so please don't go for a walk you are not going to do anything for your walk but yes if you have uh, brisk walking when you are walking alone and it's a good speed it's 500 calorie walking up hill is 2500 calorie and rest of the event if you go to see they are almost 400 calorie you burn so you need you need to burn your calorie whatever you have eaten if i have to simplify eating please look at this chart properly maximum should be activities then cereals fruits and vegetable nuts non veg milk and minimum should be milk product that is chocolates cake cheese ice cream should be minimum and today what we find out our chart has become like this we follow this chart so exercise is out of the triangle not in the chart at all right and maximum is the milk product cake cheese ice cream chocolate we use maximum right and that is becoming a cause uh, but clearing a hurdle if you can jump over a hurdle i'll definitely call you are fit and as promised earlier i'll just tell you why we breathe if you have not thought till now about it why you have been breathing when we breathe our air goes to the base of the lungs when we breathe right uh, i want to show you all it is alarming in india the lung can take 5 liters as of air 5 liters all indians are less than 2 liters i blame the government because there is no tax on breathing the day parul campus says you have to pay 500 rupees every month because you are breathing in the campus then how we will breathe paisa vasool karega 500 rupees right no tax so we are not breathing and please those are spirometer every institute has a spirometer measure your lungs you breathe only for that 20% oxygen no air has more than 20% oxygen in mumbai it is 18% 17% so every time you breathe the impure blood has come to the base of the lungs as soon as the air hits the base of the lung it takes the oxygen and becomes pure goes to the heart heart pumps it all over your body and that keeps happening but if our breathing is shallow we hardly breathe so hardly any oxygen is reached to the impure blood so the same impure blood keeps going again to the body now the source of oxygen other than breathing if you all find it please let me know as far as i am concerned no fruits no food no drinks no water nothing can give you oxygen other than breathing breathing is the only source of getting oxygen to the body and maximum vital capacity is 4.5 to 5 liters but usually please measure yours i have done lot of measurements in the youth in mumbai they are all below 2 liters females are worse than males if male is less than 2 uh, liters females are less than 1.5 liter already in pawai lake hiranandani they charge you 50 rupees if you want to breathe there so before it starts here uh, breathe take a deep breath and if you don't if you want please measure your vital capacity i'll show you only one exercise take a deep breath right and you have to come out with a hissing sound take a deep breath through your nose again take a deep breath i had shown this exercise once in a college next day the principal called and complained to me the boy started <laughs> i didn't do that fine that's a spirometer you see it's less than 2 liters less than 2 liters 
and that's the base. So when you do any resistance exercises, the diameter of each fiber increases. Baby in the fetus. See the ear upside down? Fetus of the mother. And the girls, if you all didn't know why you all are wearing earring, you can see the point there. That was the eye point. So we wanted you all to have beautiful eyes. So the ear point was given. But because most of us go to a jeweler, right, for the gun point to make a hole, there is another point there. Just above the eye point is the tongue point. So a lot of time mistake is done. That is punctured. So you all, not your mistake if you all chat so much. Right? The stimulation had happened at the wrong place. Right? Of course, I love the other ones which are on the side. These are all the neck points. Right? When you put... So every point, next time you want to have number of earrings, decide. Uh, in the 80s, we used to puncture there in the middle or for all the patients with asthma. It happens more in Madhya Pradesh. They just pass, uh, make a hole there inside. You will see the lung point so that they don't have asthma. So ear has very important points. If you remember, when in, during our time, if you were mischievous in school, they used to twist our ears. The teacher could twist. Right? So all the points were stimulated. But nowadays if you twist, police comes and takes the teacher away. Right? There can be a complaint. Okay. A study done on 48 patients who had heart attack. 24 were put on Saspi Kabhi Bauti and other 24 were watching Kapil's comedy show. So within a year, all those who were seeing Saspi Kabhi Bauti got the second attack. So please select your friends. If you feel depressed meeting any of your friend, he or she needs treatment, help her. Right? You can't listen the same story. If your friend is telling you the same story every day, please help. Right? Requires. So I believe that let us laugh together and let not laugh at each other. I am open to questions. Any questions? It's nice when people don't understand, they don't ask questions. <laughs> or I've spoken well, you'll have understood everything, so no questions. <laughs> Thank you, I wish you all the best. Sorry, I have a flight to take, so I was in a hurry, I've taken parts. Uh, Koteja's turn to finish my lecture first so that I could make it for the airport. I had just come, I could not refuse my Yagna ma'am when she told me you have to come here. And I said, I shall be there. And any time for physiotherapy, because Baroda is where I've studied, and I'm proud, I'm proud of my profession, and I'm sure you all will make yourself proud one day. Right? We are in a healing profession, just heal. You don't need 10,000 people to praise you. One, one patient blesses you, your life changes. My first pay in Bombay Hospital was 600 rupees a month. 600 rupees a month. And highest pay I have taken is when I was with Indian cricket team, 1,75,000 per day. My each match they wanted to take, they had to first deposit the money in my account. So when I told you, I started my life with the, working in the canteen. So there is nothing small. Just have that passion, have the passion of treating patients. Don't think how much I will earn, what will be my salary. That's a wrong thing. See how much you can treat, how much blessing. One person, one patient has to bless you and your life will change. You won't know what happens. I never knew cricket will come and take me. I never knew. And when I was in the team or when I was leaving the team, I, there was Malaysia waiting for me, Pakistan waiting for me. There were many West Indies waiting for me, Sri Lanka waiting for me. I had proposal from all the countries. I said, no, it's India or nowhere else. All the best to you all. God bless you all. My last uh, wish for you all. May God give you all a healing hand. May God give you all a healing hand. Thank you.